Hello guys, how are you? Today I will show you how to use bandwidth control on the TP-Link wireless router. Why we need bandwidth control? Within a normal home network, the bandwidth is shared by all computers, laptop and mobile. This means any computer using high bandwidth application, for example, torrent programs or others, P2P software will affect others' computers. This may also include a negative influence on the performance of the entire network. How can we avoid this? The answer is bandwidth control which is designed to minimize the impact caused when the connection is under heavy load. Using bandwidth control, we can assign a specific minimum or maximum bandwidth for each Wi-Fi connected device which means they have less interference on each other. When multiple wireless devices like computers, mobiles and laptops etc. are connected to any Wi-Fi router, you can face some issues for this device. You can get slow internet or slow Wi-Fi connection and there is a solution for this. We are talking about router bandwidth controls. Steps to use bandwidth control on router. In my case, I am using TP-Link Wi-Fi router. When you have access to TP-Link Wi-Fi router settings, you can control the bandwidth for all devices connected to your router. That means you can control the internet speed for device that you have connected. Please follow the step to configure this feature. Open the web browser in your mobile or computer and in the address bar type in http clone slash slash 192.168.1.1 or http clone slash slash 192.168.0.1 or http clone slash slash tp link login dot net then press enter. The LAN IP change by model please find it on the bottom level of the router. Type the username and password in the login page, they are both admin in lower case. After successfully login, choose the menu DHCP then click the HCP client list. You can view the information about the clients. This page shows client names, MAC address, SNIP and list time of each DHCP client connected to the device. You can copy this information into Microsoft Word or Notepad. From the dashboard of user interface of your TP-Link Wi-Fi router device, you can easily find bandwidth control for the TP-Link router. It does not matter what model you are using because this step will remain the same for all devices. First enable the bandwidth control for this Wi-Fi router device. After choose the line type of connection type you are using. It can be either ADSL or any other line. After that, fill two most important details that are aggregate bandwidth and increase bandwidth. You can get these details from your internet service providers. Aggregate bandwidth equal upload speed, the maximum and the minimum upload speed through the one port. Increase bandwidth equal download speed, the maximum and the minimum download speed through the one port. Under the bandwidth control rule setting section, click on the add new button and then put the values in the boxes. From the DHCP client list, note down the IP address whose bandwidth you want to limit. Type IP address of the client in the IP range box and set the bandwidth limit in increase bandwidth and increase bandwidth both with the same value in minimum bandwidth and maximum bandwidth option. Leave rest of the boxes blank.
Next, put the bandwidth range like 1 to 100 kilobytes per second or 1 to 500 kilobytes per second according to your wish and then check the enable box. Once you have put all the required values in the boxes, finally click on the save button. So this is how to limit bandwidth on TP-Link router. From now on, the Wi-Fi user whose bandwidth limit you have specified will not be able to use more bandwidth than allowed.